I, I guess I look at it from the perspective of the entrepreneur's journey, right? So pretty much any new company that creates impact at scale will at one stage in its life have um, needed some help to get off on, off the ground. And let's be honest, I mean, most businesses still fail. That's, that's a fact, right? And, and if we can just increase, you know, our job is to increase the percentages that make it over the valley of death into that space where an investor you know a scale-up investor will take them seriously right and that all that work to, the heavy lifting of getting that actually in place actually costs money and and it doesn't happen by itself so we find that um there needs to be we find that this early stage support is hugely valued by the entrepreneurs and helps them get to the kind of the first stage and then there's also a need for a lot of concessional and intermediate types of capital, which I think um, you know FSD is very good at developing those kind of models to help them stack with the concessional grant funding and then get them into um, or help them grow enough to be able to get them into more commercial capital. So there's this continuum. Then the reality is that companies will, at any moment in their time, probably be availing a combination of those types of capital at one time. Right. So there's no, it's not a neat. It, it's not a neat re relay race where you hand over the baton from one to the other to the other to the other. It doesn't work like that. They're, they stack capital, right? And so, my what our impression is that there's probably a, a not enough um, early, not enough capital at any of those stages. And I totally agree that the potential is absolutely there, in the sense that the quality of the entrepreneurs that we work with, the African and the Asian and the Indian entrepreneurs, is phenomenal. The level of entrepreneurship is phenomenal, and the you know the the, the business opportunity or the, or the opportunity to, to to generate these um, business solutions is enormous. I also think though that there's a couple of additional opportunities that are under under sort of um, noticed, which is that there is already exist from an SDG perspective. There's already a very large um, community of established African and Asian businesses that have access to infrastructure more affordable cap uh, capital in terms of cost and can expand their business range to serve lower income consumers and and that's an opportunity which has not yet been fully tapped out and not really been focused on enough and I, it was great to see people like orange and what you are doing in this space in terms of um, building your your business such that it become more impactful and can really become uh, contribute to the sdgs and also, I, I have to say that um, it would be great to see more local finance. So if, if some of the businesses did have access to local currency finance more so than now, most of the companies that we work with end up with too much of their, their capital in foreign currency. And that's not a bad thing per se, but as you go bigger, your exposure gets greater. And, and it's a good, I mean, it's a healthy thing in some extent, but as long as the balance is right, because we've seen companies get into real trouble simply because of their overexposure to, to, to um, international investment.